Under the theme, Stewards with a Higher Calling, the prayers began with praise and worship songs. It was time for the leaders to reflect on how they have put to good use the mantle of leadership entrusted to them by the people. But as they reflect on how God has enabled them to perform their legislative role, the clergy are concerned that democracy cannot thrive in Uganda without restoration of term limits. If the debate on the restoration of term limits for the presidency and the federalism will the strength, will the strengthen democracy, and increase the level of participation of the people of Uganda in their governance, then such a debate should be healthy and therefore encouraged. It should be noted that when this debate came up in the House, the NRM leadership brushed it aside saying it's diversionary and threatened legislators with punitive action if they continue debating the matter. However, Western Youth MP Gerard Karuhanga believes with this support from the religious leaders, the struggle to restore term limits is on course. We appreciate strongly the different faith that have come out strongly, affirm and support the restoration of term limits because as a country we know our history. Besides the issue of term limits, the delay in passing the anti-homosexual bill also raised concern among the leaders. The promotion of homosexuality as a legitimate way of exercising human sexuality is not something that's acceptable in our society. I think we agree on that. With this huge task ahead of the legislators, religious leaders believe they will conduct their business in the manner that upholds integrity in leadership. In leading, we must be exemplary. Therefore, how we conduct ourselves and dispose of business requires a higher accountability to God and to the people. Hilara Isiga, NTV.